Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making strawberry margarita punch. This punch is so addicting, it is ridiculous. So let's just get right into it. We're gonna start with some fresh strawberries. You can also use frozen if you can't find any fresh ones that are nice and sweet. We're gonna cut the tops off just like this and then go ahead and throw them right into a food processor. Okay, just like that. And now it's gonna add in just a little bit of water just to help them puree a little bit better, okay? And go ahead and process these until it is nice and chopped up and blended and pureed or whatever, just like that. Okay, we're going. You can strain this if you want to, but I kind of like the little seeds floating in there, so I left it. I'm going to pour this into a large pitcher, and now we're going to add in some of this frozen limeade concentrate. You can also use like the strawberry daiquiri kind, to make like a um, strawberry daiquiri punch. That's really good too. But go ahead and pour that into your strawberry mixture, and then stir it up really good just until it is completely dissolved. Okay, then we're going to add in some pulp-free orange juice. I don't like pulp in my orange juice. See you? I hate pulp in orange juice. It's so nasty. So go ahead and stir in that orange juice. And now we're gonna add in our crushed strawberry soda, yum. I know these ingredients aren't the most healthiest ingredients, but I mean, it's punch, you know? How often do you drink punch? Not that much. So pour in that strawberry soda, stir it on up in there. And now we are going to add this beautiful couple right here, our tequila and our Cointreau, yum. Love this stuff. Okay, so go ahead and add in that tequila. A lot of tequila in this punch, you guys. And you know what? You can't even taste it. That's kind of the scary part about this punch. So be careful you've been warned and we're gonna add in our Cointreau's go ahead and stir that in just like that and now you're done the only thing left to do is to add a little bit of water in to kind of balance out that sweetness so just add enough water in to get it to the sweetness that you like it I like mine really sweet because I mean it's punch it has to be sweet you know I'm gonna water down punch now go ahead and Fill your glasses up with ice. You can also like put a little salt around the edges of the glasses if you want to. And then pour in that yummy, yummy punch. It tastes so much better the next day, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's the bomb the first day, but the next day it is like, oh, refreshing. So good. This punch goes really, really fast at parties, so make extra, okay? And there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And don't forget, you can find it on my blog, divascomcook.com, with a ton of other recipes. So go on over there and check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.